Richard Cloth Anderson was born on January 12, 1750, at Goldmine, Hanover County, Virginia, to Robert and Elizabeth Cloth Anderson. He was the captain of the Hanover Militia at the beginning of the Revolutionary War. He crossed the Delaware with George Washington. He was Marquis de Lafayette's aide at the Battle of Yorktown. He was a charter member of the Society of the Cincinnati, which was founded in June 1783 for the officers of the Continental Army. He was a lieutenant of the Continental Army and was wounded in the Battle of Trenton and Savannah. After the war, he moved to Kentucky in 1784. He lived in Jefferson County. He was the chief surveyor of the Virginia Military District of lands that had been given to Revolutionary War vets. Anderson married Elizabeth Clark in 1787, who was the sister of George Rogers Clark, and they had one son and three daughters. Their son was named Richard Clough Anderson Jr. He was a delegate to the Kentucky Convention of 1788 and a presidential elector in 1793. In 1795, his wife Elizabeth died. In 1797, he remarried Anne Marshall, who was the cousin of John Marshall, the first Chief Justice of the United States, and they had 12 children together. Some of them were notable figures. Charles Anderson was the 27th Governor of Ohio. William Marshall Anderson was an author, explorer, and politician. And Robert Anderson surrendered to Confederate forces at Fort Sumter. Anderson died on October 16, 1826, and was buried at Hertzborn Lane in Louisville. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Richard Anderson. He was a lawyer, surveyor, soldier, and a politician. He had an impact on the nation while serving in the Revolutionary War, but also in the early stages of Kentucky. His children also had a notable impact on the state and the nation. Anderson County, the 82nd County of Kentucky, was named after his son, and you can find a video about him on this channel as well. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. Like and share this video and subscribe to the Kentucky History Channel and hit the notification button to get more Kentucky history content. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. You can find us on Twitter and Facebook at kyhistorypod and on Instagram at Kentucky History Podcast. And don't forget to check out the Kentucky History Podcast on many podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.